Hello there, and welcome back to Resident Evil Shadows of Rose. When we left off, we'd entered the uh, Winter's household, uh, which was quite quite emotional, really. Michael's telling me to look upstairs. He's impatient. He's an impatient man. We have a theory. My theory is that uh, Ethan is Michael, and Michael is Ethan. And also, Evelyn was the one talking to us through the phone in the last episode, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we're going to go upstairs. That was our next logical choice. Right, okay. I don't know how much of this we can actually check out. But I would like to see all the little bits and bobs. So I'm play the song again. It's always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. It's more like a jingle, isn't it, than a tune? Because it lasts like two milliseconds. I wonder if it means anything. Or the note. Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday's on the second. I'm going to make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm going to make a cake for every special occasion that we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album. I haven't okay. seen Mom in ages. To a point, like where did uh, where did Mia go after the uh, the events of Village? What happened to her? I guess there's nothing in here. Redundant room. Oh, there's a closet. There's a big gift in here. I I know, she's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. It's a shotgun. I wonder how we played with this. It's her first pistol. Right, okay. So the only place left to go, really, is the main bedroom. This is my bedroom? <sighs> She's growing so fast. Getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. Yeah, you wouldn't fit in it now, Rose. Chill. <laughs> We're not telling you to go to sleep. She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. Can I open anything to do with this, maybe? Nope. Right. So, computer. February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy, though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it, so it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favourite photo. Okay, I'm guessing that's what it means by sideboard. Fuse map. Oh, <laughs> I said it's hard to hold of the fuse map. Makes a lot of sense now. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. It's a baby. Okay, key. For the drawer. Junk. Right. A letter for me. Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. I was no. right. Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! Uh, she always turns up at the worst times. Our jacket, our clothes, my pants. 
guess what? What? What do you want? That thing you're looking for? Isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> she weirdly looks a lot like me, doesn't she? From from RE seven specifically. For that. I wonder if there's a you reason have to for that. Go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> she can't. I forgot she could teleport. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care. <laughs> I don't like this girl. Oh crap. Wait, now, I thought we were still in a good scene just then. Drown. I need to get out of this house first. What? First. Right, we're gonna follow the red stuff. What? Does she only want Just go away, you. What are you talking about? Right, I don't know where that leads. It was leading what? me this way, wasn't it not? You Listen, sunshine. Not. Get out of here. Seriously, what is your problem? She's just a bit of a douche, I think. And she's got anger problems, we know this already. Nope. Oh. This is the way, I think. I believe. Some some stuff. Sage. Right. Just so greedy. Oh crap, we've got the dolls to deal with now. So many friends that it's never enough! I can't really grab these guys. Right, can we go through the doors, please? Thank you. Where do you think you're? Listen, Missy. Oh, look. Your family's oh my god, what is coming through that door? Die. Die. I don't like this! Oh my god, it's the bloody mannequin people. Let me through, please. Let me in. They were supposed to die and join me here. Let's go. What? Stop it, Michael. How are you even here, Father? Michael. Good, you made it out. Right. Be careful. I'm trying to be, really. I'm just getting chased by living dolls everywhere. Evelyn's causing this. That little girl? We know this. This information. Uh, we still can't get out. Yeah, I got that much. We're in clunking. I don't like this. Right. Use your powers on her. Try. I've only got one thing left though. I can help once she's weak. Okay. Uh, there's a flask, I think. And a health. Mmm, tasty. This should help. These should help. Did he just make that then? Alright. Is there anything else sneaky that I could pick up? She's not going to randomly just come in and destroy me, is she? There's a quick save thing. I'm going to chuck a quick save in there. For safety reasons. Right. Don't panic. You've got this. Do I, though? Do I, though? Never never! Okay. This way. Okay, Michael, are you going to guide me through this whole thing? That'd be very handy. Wait for an opening. Okay. You're not done. Be careful. Where is she?
Right. Okay. I feel like goop is bubbling up behind me. It's everywhere, in fact. Oh my god. If you'd never been born, it would have been perfect! I'm running out of powers here. Go away! What? I can't move. <laughs> Right. Uh, was special. Where are you? You're there. Nothing. A, a freak with no I know, I know, you don't need to keep telling me. You're trying to make me feel bad. Oh my god. A true friend. Okay, she's disappeared. Okay. Can I get you from here? No, you Take this! No. Demon. Wow, I've like regenerated all my stuff. No. <laughs> Can't believe how useless I am. Is it over? <laughs> I wonder no one loves me. What now? Back up! Such an angry child. I, I knew it. I knew it. Find that crystal. Okay. Father, you've just saved our lives. Might be gone now. He looked like he was fading out of existence. Rose, look out! He, Potentially. He saved me, but he didn't make it. Again. That voice. My dad's voice. Is Michael? My dad. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. That's okay. I'm pretty sure we will one day. When I figure out where it is, mind you. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. Another save point. They're quite generous with the save points. I like this. And that's done again. Let's go. Yeah, there seems to be a bit of furniture down here for some strange reason. That kind of looks like the triple eye door that we came across earlier. What the hell? What's all this doing out here? There's crap everywhere. I don't like it. Oh, we're getting bullets. I've got my guns back. Since when? There's a doll on the floor. That Evelyn doll. What's that say on it? Oh, is it the Catherine one? Okay. It's weird, it's like there's bits from everywhere so far up to this point, scattered around. Where the oh, hell well. Am I? What is this place? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't even have a good answer. This Castle Dimitres, this looks like the village. I wonder if each of them orbs is like a stratum kind of deal. 
Interesting. Let's drop down. I'm going to assume we've got some monsties to... I have got no shotgun bullets. That is depressing. Alright. And we slide on in. I thought that I... It's not going to let me shoot. It looks exactly like me, actually. But there's crows. What? Which um, is vaguely familiar if you watch the uh, other part of this playthrough. Oh. White sage again. Nice, nice. I like it. If only there was some shotgun bullets, that would be even more appreciated. here. First aid med. I'll take it. No complaints here. They're all me. Excuse me? Just like in the castle. There's another me there. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm just going to back up and keep shooting. I'm going to back up a little bit more and shoot a little bit more too. Listen, so I can counter. I literally pressed that by mistake just then. That has wasted some of my juice and for that I will never forgive you. Listen, just go down. So is that how the monsters were created? They were just clones of me gone bad? Could really do with a couple more bullets. What's that? Okay. Ask and you shall receive. Sounds like something goopy is going on. They're what is coming from in there? It's like a drainage pipe. Right. I thought I heard something drop behind me, so I have to come and check it out. Okay, I'm gonna have to run away from this fool. Listen, your lunging will not get you very okay, it gets you really far actually. Why are you so quick? Oh my god, that was too close for comfort. Just go down! I'm running out of any and all ammunition right now. Did that other one die before? Or is it just chilling up here waiting for me? Oh, something else. Shotgun shells. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. Okay, we've got a demon there. Let's drop dead. There's more than one. I've got one of these bullets and then we're going to have to use shotgun. Stay down. There's no sneaky ammunition here, is there? We are really low on bullets. There's more sage. That's good. Hang on ammo. That makes me a little bit more comfortable. Not fully comfortable, but ever so slightly more comfortable. Oh god, I'm gonna... Oh my god, there's loads. You're still alive. How? Okay, they are immune to shotgun bullets now. Let's 
just drop, drop dead, please? You scoundrel. Listen, I'm really hoping we're not fighting a boss with guns, because I swear, I have nine bullets to my name. Oh, this certainly looks very boss-like. This is where Chris dropped down, was it not? When we fought the big dude with the hammer. Well. We can do this, Rose. I got you back. Literally. It's the only camera angle they gave me. Um. Yeah, because that doesn't look disgusting. Okay. What even is that? <laughs> is this where those copies of me came from? That was a leg breaker if I've ever seen one. Right, there's some handgun ammo. Very good. Very nice. Oh, it's just dumping out little baby roses. That's fine. That's fine. I actually just think thought there was enemies coming towards me then. Right, so we've got uh, a book. The Mega My Seat absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. One, the memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the Mutamycete in the life in life retain control of their faculties here. So like Ethan was truly attuned to the Mutamycete then, is that what it's saying? If he's able to just run around and do his own thing. Um, okay. Uh, this aligns with my understanding of the Megami seat as revealed to me in its vi in its visions before my death. Okay. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megami seat, and yet I do not despair. For this fate has granted me fascinating fascinating insights. All those years I strived have continued to strive. Wait, what? I don't even understand what I've just read. And yet I do not despair. For this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I have accumulated in life have transferred here to the Mega My Seat, where it serves as the source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and the memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which... Oh, it's, it's Mother Miranda's literal diary, isn't it, really? Into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of searching is Rosemary Winters. Once here. Okay, there's a typewriter. We'll use that in just a second. I've been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousness stored within the Megamycete. When the person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused this Diffused has proved a monumental effort and an experiment. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals, consciousnesses, to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, respooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psych, uh, psyche and was missing a portion of his face. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the Duke, maybe? That's why he wears the mask. Conclusion. While manipulating memories to create a person is impossible. The creations are flawed and unstable. 
it will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel this way. Okay. Who wrote all this? We know, but it makes sense that you wouldn't know. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but it has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove a suitable vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses, hypotheses have come to mind thus, thought, thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. Some other actor within this realm, I'm guessing could be Ethan, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is somehow to bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations, further experiments with these Rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just one. Is just the one to perform the stress they test. Couldn't have been watching me the entire time. Right. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home within my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption of my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would not would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live <laughs> and her mutamycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Okay, you angry, angry lady. That is far too tempting not to pick up, as is that. There's not enough space in my imagery. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to drop something. <laughs> No, I don't have to drop anything. A smart guy would just rearrange. And that's confirmed, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Bullets obtained. Right, I'm going to go back and save quickly. And I think we're going to call it an episode here. We've had a semi-scary boss fight with an Evelyn, who I th actually didn't really think we'd see again. Um, you know, after seven, because she got completely destroyed. But, you know, she's living on in the memories of the Mega My Seed. So, you know, if you've liked this episode... Like and subscribe, and if you want to see what happens next, make sure you're here tomorrow for the next one. <laughs> see you next time. Bye for now.